All right, our way. All right, uh, I guess I'll go first. Can you all hear me all right? Yes. Okay, so uh, first I'll ask Jamie, uh, you know, you only subbed out with 17 seconds left in the game. So were you relieved when you got subbed out or did you want to finish the game off? I was relieved. Um, it's always nice to give other people a chance. Um, I'm not selfish. Um, I wish they would have came and got me out earlier so that, you know, our freshmen can get in the flow of, you know, playing and, and our newcomers too. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I guess, you know, especially coming off a game where uh, you played a lot like you did in Fort Worth, uh, how, how exhausted were you out there today? Um, I was more tired today than I was the first game. Um, they, TCU came out and played hard, like they were mad at us. So we had to, pick up, we had to go up to their speed. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, we had to play to their level. They couldn't come down to us. So. Yeah, for sure. And then uh, when you get tired, you know, where do you feel it first? Do you feel it in your legs or is it that burning in your throat? You know, where were you feeling it today? My burning is in my stomach. Oh. My, my burning pain is in my stomach. Um, and then it goes to my legs. <laughs> and then I'm done. Well, that's interesting. And then, uh, Taylin, I know we have some questions for you. Uh, congrats on the career high. But I'm going to ask you about Jamie. Uh, you know, um, I guess uh, how, how impressed were you with her performance today not subbing out at all? I know, like, I always expect Jamie to play to play big minutes. I don't know how she does it, but I just feel like she uh, handles herself so well, um, not coming out like she does. And um, it really, like, it, it's very impressive, honestly. It's very impressive because she does not ever look tired. Like, when I look at her, like, she's always ready to go, ready to do whatever, so... I know I'm not gonna lie. I was sitting up here in the uh, up here on like the shelf here, and I was like, wait. I was looking at Jamie like, man, does she like you know have her hands on her knees? Can I write a lead? You know, Jamie was exhausted, hands on knees, but no, she didn't even look tired out there. So, I was I was impressed with that. Um, uh, I think that's all I have. I don't know, Ben or Jacob. Yeah, I'll go next. Um, so Jamie, one of the highlights that I saw just on the jumbo um, jumbotron showed that you were not looking at. Um, I think. KB Star, um, whenever you gave her a pass right next to the rim for a lay-in, how how often does that sort of thing happen where you can do the no-look passes and then like what do you have to what has to go right for it to be a thing you do? Um, so I seen her the whole time. Um, so once I get the ball, I look up and I seen that she was at my level of dribbling. So I slowed down so that she could get in front of me and then that's when I hit the three. And is there any, do you kind of know before you're going to do it that you're going to do it? Or is there, yeah. is it kind of an instinctual thing? Yeah, no, um, I knew I was going to give it to her as soon as I got my head up and seen that she was running. I mean, I got to reward the runner, really. So I try to do that with everybody and not just. Yeah. Um, I think it. Oh, there we go. Um, and then one other thing I kind of, I was wondering about you was just, how, how consistent this your kind of performances are kind of becoming this season. What what about that consistency have you really taken pride in, um, especially in the last few weeks? Um, not fouling. Uh, I kind of had trouble with, you know, getting fouls early. So I just took pride in my defense more and try to wall up better and take more charges. And then, Taylan, I'm going to – ask you kind of about what they were saying a little bit a second ago, but you got your career high tonight. What what about tonight felt really special for this to be your career um, your career high? Um, you know, playing a team back to back um, is always difficult to do. And um, I kind of had that in my head, had that in a mindset. And um, tonight, I just felt like I was taking, taking whatever they gave me. And um, what about playing a team for the second time in I think four four days, does it become harder the second time or does it kind of become easier for you guys to kind of compensate for that? Um, I definitely think it was harder the second time. Like Jamie said, um, they came out with a different, like different, they came out differently, um, a lot faster, a lot more aggressive. So um, we had to adjust to, the, to how they were playing because it was a lot different than the first game. Awesome, thank you guys. Taylin, how are you doing today? Good. 
I figured that was uh, probably the answer I was going to get. No, I wanted to ask you a little bit about that career high, you know, as we've hit on before, uh, 19 points. I mean, were you putting that many up in, like, high school games, or was this, you know, an explosion even by your standards? Uh, no, I was putting those up in high school. Uh, it's definitely really rewarding to get that at the collegiate level. Um, so. I guess, like, you know, were you surprised it maybe taken this long to get back to, you know, those 19, 20 point games uh, in college? Um, I know the transition from high school to college is, uh, is really different. So I don't want to say that, like, I was rushing it, like expecting to do what I did in high school because these girls are, you know, they're top notch. And so I knew that it was going to be a lot different. So I couldn't come in expecting to, to do, like, all these crazy things, you know, and I had to um, get in here and just really find my groove. Yeah, I got you. And Jamie, you know, when Taylin right there, she's, you know, shooting like, I think it was seven for eight from the field. And, you know, she made like five or six shots from the line, super efficient. Does that give you more confidence to feed her the ball if, you know, you know she's not going to miss? Um, yeah, but I always look to get the ball to Taylin. Um, um, I'm really proud of her because, you know, we're both from Oklahoma and not a lot of Oklahoma kids, you know, we don't get recruited to big schools. Um, other states are kind of sleep on us. So just knowing that we have, what, five people from Oklahoma here and, oh, she gave us a chance. I'm proud of her. And, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys very much. Have a good one. Thank you guys. Uh, I got coach here. Go ahead and jump in and do this. I'll try to get out. Hey, Coach, I got a question. Hey, guys. How's it going, Coach? Good. Good win for our group. Uh, Quick turnaround against TCU. Uh, it's not always the easiest thing to do, turn around and play somebody right after you played them. And I uh, thought we responded really well uh, for three quarters. Uh, you know, I'll just be honest. I'm honest to our kids all the time. Thought we got a little soft in the fourth quarter in how we finished the game, but uh, a lot of positives and uh, I'm excited to, to go to 5-0, and and, and uh, we've taken care of business and had, uh, had a lot of good things defensively today. Uh, Herb played really well for TCU, and uh, uh, we, we just did a good job. Uh, had, had some kids step in. Abby was really solid all day long. Uh, Taylor Collins, 19-7, and and, and Matt, 19-10, you know, some – Sometimes you, you take Mac for granted that she's so consistent in what she does. But at the end of the night, you look up and she's got a double-double. But, you know, for three quarters, I thought I thought we played really well. And uh, we've been a little shorthanded the last uh, couple games. And to step up and get two wins, that's that's big. And and uh, kids, have, kids have done a nice job. And I just believe we can continue to, to get better. And, um, we're, we're looking forward to the day to get the other kids back. Coach, you know, speaking of uh, being so shorthanded, that forced, you know, you to ask a lot of a lot of players today, but especially Jamie, you know, she didn't sub out until with 17 seconds to go. Uh, how impressed were you with her performance today? Oh, she played well. Uh, uh, Jamie has, has been doing a good job of getting us, getting us off to a good start. And, uh, um, you know, she three turnovers is high for what she's done, but uh, uh, you know she's she's done a good job of running the club. And I uh, didn't think we was good in the fourth, but uh, you know you look at her numbers, sixteen and seven. That's that's a that's a very good night. And uh, thought she did some good things defensively. Herds a a handful to, to guard in the zone or in the man. And uh, where we where we did a great job is is we didn't foul, and uh, 
I don't remember many games where we didn't send somebody to the free throw line. And the last four games, Tech shot four free throws, uh, TCU shot uh, 10 at TCU, and they shot zero tonight. And that's a formula to win when you keep people off the free throw line. And one thing I'm curious about is, you know, was that kind of your plan going into this game was to, uh, you know, uh, you know, not uh, give Jamie any rest? Like, is that a testament to how valuable she is? Or did that just kind of happen as the game went along? Well, you know, uh, when you got eight players, uh, uh, your best, some of your best players aren't going to get much time off. So, uh, and she's the point guard. Uh, Lexi Keys could play some point. Tolly could play some point. But uh, somebody, somebody's got to remain in the game uh, major minutes when, when, uh, you're down to eight players. Thanks, Coach. Coach, so I asked this to um, Talon and Jamie a little right before this. Um, what? How hard is it to prep for the same team in, like, for a second time within a week's period? It's not hard to prep. It's really pretty easy to prep because it's the, it's the same scout. It's, it's when uh, you beat someone by a pretty good margin to keep the edge in your mind that each game is a different challenge. Each game is a different opportunity and, and you can't let down. And for three quarters, I didn't think we did. We, we came out and, and uh, scored 22 in the first and so, so in the second, and then a good third quarter with 26. So uh, it, it's not so much the preparation. It's, it's keeping the mental edge that uh, you need to be successful. And then um, both Jamie and Taylor kind of thought that TCU played with a, a different sort of, there was a different edge to them today. Um, was that something that you were expecting after such a convincing win on Wednesday? Well, absolutely. I mean, it's a prideful program that I believe they won 25 maybe last year. And they're accustomed to winning. And we knew their kids would come in here and fight. And I knew especially Heard was. I mean, uh, she's a really, really good player that scores at three levels. And, and uh, uh, I thought uh, we knew and we told our kids that they'd come in and they'd compete and they'd play hard. And then um, I get. I mean, we can't talk, we can't not talk about um... – Taylor and how well she played today as well as Jamie as well. But what what about um, Taylor today uh, impressed you the most? Um, more aggressive, um, you know, very efficient, seven out of eight shots. Uh, and she's worked really hard on her free throws. So she was five for six. And, you know, uh, she's uh, flirting with that double-double with seven rebounds. But she always plays good defense. She was in passing lanes. Five steals is a lot of steals. And uh, she, she looked for her opportunities to drive the basketball today. And, and when uh, there were lanes that she could cut to, she cut to them. I, just, I thought just the aggressiveness of her play uh, was the best that it's been so far. Thank you, Coach. Yeah. Coach, I just have uh, one quick question for you about Taylor. You know what Jacob just said. She's primarily known as a, like a defensive player, right? You know, you said she always plays great defense, and she only averages about eight points a game. But tonight, she had a career high nineteen. You know, what does that say to you? And just like, what does that mean to this team for her to be so efficient and to you know be a co-leader of the Cowgirls in scoring? Well, guys, first of all, seven seven or eight points a game for a freshman in this league is is really, really good. So, uh, you know, uh, but her to step up and be a third scorer and, and uh, be aggressive going to the hole and play the way she does is a big plus for her. She's got a very high ceiling and there's a lot of good things that are gonna happen in her career. She, she comes to practice every day. She's very coachable and wants to get better. Appreciate it. Thank you. Anything else for Coach? I think that's all. Congrats all right. on the win. Thank you. Thank you, guys.